Honestly, uh, the people. I've felt incredibly lucky to work with um, everyone associated with the program. That goes all the way from attendings down to our support staff of nurses and techs. Everyone here is fantastic and everyone uh, at all levels has taught me more than I ever thought uh, I was capable of learning and that's been an absolute honor and a privilege to work with them. Ooh, something people might not know about me. Um, I was a competitive fencer in middle and high school, traveled all over the country competing in tournaments. I gave it up when I went to college. My college didn't have a competitive team, but I still fence when I can on the side. My, my parents, both of them do, uh, to be honest. Both of my parents came from humble uh, backgrounds and through their hard work and determination have given me just about every opportunity that I could have ever asked for. And thinking about that and the hard work and the dedication and the sacrifices that they made to give me the best life possible uh, is, what, is what inspires me and motivates me. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting experience. Um, some of the, I think the biggest benefit is we both understand each other's work schedule and some of the craziness that goes along with it. You know, there are times when we'll say, oh, I'll be home at seven, and we know that that's a very fluid number uh, subject to many different changes. Um, challenges are that as well, you know, with two resident work schedules, it's hard sometimes to, to find the time to see each other. And there's certainly been times when I wish that I got to see my wife more, uh, but we both understand that that's part of the job and it's part of the work that we do. Well, I, I live up in Northern Baltimore and I live by a lake called Lake Montebello. It's a large reservoir. It has a nice little over a mile loop around it. I love running there running around the lake and back. Uh, even though it's in a city, it has a nice suburban feel to it and I love running by the water, which I didn't think I would get to do in Baltimore and it's very close to my house. Yeah, I always try to wear fun socks on shift. Uh, it's one of the few things in my outfit that I get to personalize and customize. Uh, today I'm actually wearing my Maryland flag socks. I bought them on match day after I opened my letter and found out that I was matching here. Um, and it shows off my pride in my new, my new home state and my program. You know, one issue that I feel very strongly about but haven't written about yet is actually resident wellness. It's something I plan to write about, uh, hopefully soon. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, but I feel like as a resident, I have a unique perspective on that issue and could write fairly intelligibly about it. So I hope to, I hope to be highlighting that issue soon. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's a lesson he ever explicitly sat down and told me, but the thing that I've learned from him is that emergency medicine is all about trade-offs. Emergency medicine is great. It's a great field. That's why I'm doing it too. But there, there are downsides to it. You know, we do shift work. That means we have some of our weekdays off, which is not a luxury that many physicians have. The, the downside to that is we have to work weekends, we have to work holidays, we have to work overnights. Our profession is a 24-7 profession. And like I said, my dad never sat me down and said, this is how emergency medicine works and these are the, this is the give and take of it. But just growing up, watching him make those, make those trade-offs made it easier for me um, when I've been asked to do that thus far in my career. Oh, that's easy. History. Uh, I love history. I love learning about it. Every night before I go to bed, I try to read something non-medical just to keep myself balanced. Um, and 
I'm trying to I'm trying to do a better job of reading some fiction in there as well. But most of what I read is nonfiction. To me, I think history uh, a lot of times is more interesting than fiction. I think it reads better, has some crazier plot twists than any fiction book could, and I just love learning about it.